Hey y'all, I'm Udoka. Welcome to my channel. I got no sleep. I just had to make this video real quick because this is really ticking me off. Um, I don't have my thoughts together to make a TikTok video that's one minute long. I know a TikTok might get more traffic than my YouTube. Probably only 30 people are going to watch this, but hey, there's 30 more people that will at least help not contribute to this BS that's annoying me. Um, I just uh, got some information about this hashtag Costco girl and the woman who has tried to report this family, Angelica. Y'all, listen. What people need to understand it's in the United States of America. Black rage is a commodity. It is a money maker. I'm going to use this Costco girl situation as an example. I'll use um, Clubhouse as another example. Um, currently, the drama there is this dude named Conservative Atheist causing issues and Candace Owens is a a little kind of a little bit more mainstream example of this black rage thing first let me talk about this Costco girl situation y'all first of all I know y'all I know y'all lying y'all are not for real sitting up here making thumbnails with this girl's face in it okay if you don't know the Costco girl situation because I didn't know it either Um, the Costco girl situation was this one woman named Angelica something. She's Hispanic, Latina, white Latina lady. Um, she records, uh, this black girl in the Costco, uh, the black girls with a white family. She's adopted. And in the video, the girl's looking ticked off the the whole family's looking ticked off and the woman's recording is saying oh this girl said that she was hungry and they said that she can't eat and that's not fair and they're probably hurting this girl stuff like that she called the police on this family and um and the story angelica is putting out is that this um this black girl um that she spoke to the girl, that the girl said that they won't allow her to eat, that she heard the dad say, you do what I say, you belong to me, um, that she uh, peed on the floor and some blood came out. And before I had even seen the video, I was thinking this was like a three-year-old. You know, I was thinking it's a toddler, a two-year-old, a three-year-old. This is a girl. This is a girl, um, maybe prepubescent. Maybe she looked she looked like a tween, a teenager. And um, people really caping for this uh, this girl, Angelica, um, trying to take down this family. They found the girl's YouTube channel. The the girl has a YouTube channel with her. Russian white Russian sister um and they were making music together the mom had to private the channel I mean people have been harassing this family and so this family is now trying to sue Angelica for you know for damages defamation I think this family also has a business it's affecting their business as well um the police investigated they said there was something wrong there was something nefarious going on now upon first glance I am sus of an entirely white family that has adopted a black child. We've seen what happened with that one couple, um, with the, the poor kids that they adopted. That, that one young boy, I think his name was Devante, and he was doing free hugs, and the media was just eating it up. A look at this black boy hugging the police. If y'all don't mind your own... Like... This this is this is what you have to understand in the United States of America. When you are black, you you can't just exist as a black person in America. Your blackness is constantly 
They are constantly trying to capitalize on your on your blackness. Y'all didn't care about that little boy, Devontae. Y'all just wanted to capitalize on the fact that a little black boy is hugging police during a time where there is distrust of the police. Y'all didn't give a damn about that boy because now the boy's gone, along with his siblings, because his parents wanted to do a, a whole family famicide, a fa familiacide. I don't know if there's a term for it. So I'm always sus, okay? I'm always sus because you never know in this freaking country. But the police did their investigation. Everything looked kosher. This Angelica chick is still out here peddling her lies. And I watched the Paris Milan. If you don't subscribe to Paris Milan by now, baby, I don't know what you was doing. If you give a, a good gosh darn about black people what's going on um what's up with kidnappings what's up with viral issues like this <clears throat> uh sorry i'm waiting on a, on a work meeting so okay i'm just waiting on a work meeting to begin so don't mind me if i'm checking my computer Paris, is it Hey Paris or Paris Milan or what's this chick's name on YouTube? Okay, Paris Milan. She made a video detailing with the receipts. This Angelica woman is racist herself. Um, she said racist things. She's she defended a family member who committed a hate attempted bam bam attempted unaliving of black people targeting them because they are black and and she laughs saying oh uh he famous now <laughs> and probably what it is and i heard an interview with this with this angelica chick and she said says something like oh i just saw the way that she was dressed i'm not she said i'm not trying to be judgmental but I seen the way that she was dressed and it kind of looked like, you know, it kind of looked like from those, from those slavery days. And my parents always made me watch that stuff, um, to teach us to not hate. When somebody has to add that kind of stuff, my parents taught me to not hate. And I, I don't mean to be, when people add that kind of stuff, I become sus of that person. I become very sus of that person, and she showed herself, so you actually didn't mean to judge, you you really did see a dark-skinned black girl with natural hair in a, in a top, in a, when, when you see the top, it, that's a top that you can buy at Target right now, it, I believe it's called a peasant top. Yes, that's the style, you go to Target, it looked like little, uh, home on the prairie. It looked like <laughs> it looked like uh your husband is a blacksmith and you the wife at home uh having to stoke the fire. You having to bring in the firewood that the hubby chopped before he went into work and stoked the fire <laughs> and then go feed the hens and, and slit the throat of the goat for dinner. That is the style right now. Um this woman angelica saw that girl and she has said in these interviews with these blogs that are caping for her she has said she looked at that girl and instantly thought that's a that's a slave right there that's a mammy right there in training and because this woman is so sick she decided to use this moment to, to, to capitalize on this moment. That woman is sick. Angelica is sick. And she is tugging on. You gotta, you gotta, whenever you receive information about, you know, something that has happened involving black people, you need to first think about how does this make me feel? And if it make you feel kind of sideways, you need to investigate a little bit further because you need to understand our black rage, our black emotions. 
It's a commodity. People don't give a damn about us. They give a damn about upsetting us because that's how they gain clout, notoriety, virality, and money. Because this Angelica person is saying that she needs to pay for a lawyer to defend herself against a family that has uh, suffered at her hand. Harassment. She needs to pay for a lawyer. She needs $15,000. Y'all, start calling this woman into question. I mean, I'm not going to get into her whole background. But um, it seems to me this is a, this is a person who, who can't be trusted. She is using our blackness for her benefit. And what makes it more disgusting is she's somebody who's racist herself. And it is annoying to see people not just cape for her, people who she doesn't like. This woman on her social media has several times mocked, made fun of the LGBT community and LGBT focused blogs are caping for her. What hurts is not only are y'all caping for her, but y'all are. Now, I watched the video of that girl because I wanted to see the video. But y'all are putting this child's face on your thumbnail. And trying to monetize your video. This child never consented to being in a video in the first place. Let alone to be in your thumbnail so that you can cape for uh, Angelica. I'm sorry. I saw that. I was so... I was like, this is exhausting. It is exhausting for your racial identity. A racial Id a identity that has been... Put upon you by the United States government and society, right? Because when you're born, you're not thinking, I'm, I'm a Negro. You're just yourself. You're part of, you're from Philly. You're from this tribe. You're, you're from this, this language. You know your ethnicity. You know your culture. You don't give a dang about your race unless the government and society that you're living says you need to. But not only that, let's say, okay, I accept that. But they want to use my black identity to mean something else. My black identity has to be a political issue. My existence needs to be a political issue. My black identity has to be uh, equated to the Democrat uh, political party or what have you. No, excuse you. Actually, my, my racial identity needs to be equivalented to none of your damn business. Anyway, I'm just saying this is an example of people trying to use our blackness for their benefits. And it's so easy because because of the history of this country. It's so easy. I'm also going to mention. Hold on, let me check to see if this meeting started. I mean, I don't know, but just just tell me when. Just tell me when you want to start this meeting. Okay. On Clubhouse, there's this user named Conservative Atheist. He changes his name today. It might be Conservative Atheist dot three. Tomorrow it'll be Conservative Atheist underscore four. Because he keeps getting blocked and banned from the, from the app. And he just keeps making uh, a new one. And he's a, he's a conservative figure, like the name says. And he's contra he likes to start controversial topics. And I used to go into his rooms when the topics were mask or no mask. Like stupid stuff. You know what I mean? When the topics were just dumb, whatever. But I did notice he started making topics about the black community. I didn't go into those because just I've just learned that people on Clubhouse have no discernment. They have absolutely none. But I did notice that every time I would come on his stage, 
he would immediately bring me up, okay? I used to think that was because he thought I brought an opposing idea and he liked the way I, I articulated my points. Now I feel like mm, he probably just wanted to have another black woman on the stage. I don't know what it is about him and black women. I think maybe it's a, maybe it's a fetish. I don't know. But he uses black women like as a as a protection, as a shield, okay? And uh, whenever someone asks him, why did you start a, uh, a room about a black issue that you know nothing about? He'll say, oh, a black woman told me that I should. He'll always say that. So he's been very controversial. And then, the, uh, and this brings up what? Black rage, right? So he gets in a, conf a confoodle. People... Um, Found found somebody uh, with the name Sean Patrick McKeon on the sex offender list, and people are like, "Y'all, if 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 you don't realize by now the dude is racist, at least see that he's a pe he's a he's a a a p word right now." I went, I found him in a room. I asked him, is this you? He said, no, my name is actually Patrick Sean McKeon, which I cannot find on the sex offender list. But we did also ask him, so do you dislike black people? Like as a whole, as a group? He said, yes, I, I, I do not. I do not like black people in mass. I can like individual black people, but I do not like black people. So this guy is now admittedly actually a racist. They pressed him further, um, asking, would you, would you talk this way about any other race? It seems like, no, he wouldn't. <laughs> He's really just interested in talking about black people discussing the genetics of black people, discussing how superior or inferior these genetics are. You get what I'm saying? You get where I'm going? And um, lo and behold, we find he has a podcast or he's starting a podcast. He's recording all of these conversations that he has on the app. Um, this man intends to get in his bag via black rage. The last example I have is Candace Owens. I bring her up to just kind of show that this black rage and capitalizing on it is not exclusively for non-black people like Angelica and the conservative atheist guy. Candace Owens is a Car Caribbean She's Caribbean American, okay? She's first gen, I believe, here. Meaning a lot of issues that are issues for black Americans who have been here generationally. So those traumas have been passed down. Like if you don't understand how if your family has been here because they were brought from slavery and you don't understand how that affects the culture of your home, the way you're raised, the way you raise children, the way you are taught to raise children, the way you are taught to move and live in this world. If you don't, if you don't see how a culture can be passed down generationally because of circumstance, then there's something wrong with you. So the people who are like, Slavery was so long ago, it doesn't affect you today. I'm like, there's something wrong with you. You're telling me that Italians, these Italians in New York, who are effectively completely white in the United States of America, operate as white. The government recognizes them as white. But they still, they still are influenced by Oh, back in Pappy's day, they, the Italians weren't allowed to. Do, 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 do. That's why we have to. If if you can watch um, these friggin' mafia movies and understand that, then what the hell you look like talking about slavery was so long ago, it doesn't affect you. 
uh, Jim Crow was so long ago, it doesn't affect you. People, people just play games. When it comes to black people, people want to play games. And that's what Candace Owens is doing because she was raised Caribbean style. It's a different culture. There's different issues. So she looks at black America like an outsider. But she saw, she saw that because once you're in America, you black. She saw that she has to accept the black identity and she saw that she can get a bag from black outrage. I'm just making this video. I'm gonna mess, let me message my coworker because I'm just about done. Oh, I think you're ready. Okay, he ran. Hold on, hold on. No, he ain't ready. Uh. Okay. He ready now. I just need to make this video. I know it's only 20 people going to watch it. But I just had to make this video and put it out there. Because you never know. Maybe the right person will hear it. But you got to understand that in this country... They still see us like a commodity to profit off of. So just be careful the information that you take in. If it has to deal with black people, please check how is this information and the way it's being presented, how is it making me feel? And then dive deeper to find the truth. Because more than likely, it's somebody that's trying to profit off of black rage and black trauma and the sad thing is if you don't start investigating and seeking the truth when it comes to these black stories you gonna you gonna find yourself caping for somebody who really who really could care less for people who look like us all right that's all uh, like this video if you like it. Subscribe if you want to. I just had to get that off my chest. Dang, my mouse don't want to work right now. All right, bye.